Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today in this video lecture, I am going to discuss another previous year question, which is how does a writer's position as an outsider influence his or her writing illustrate? So in the previous year question, uh, first I have talked about how does a writer's position as an insider influence his or her writing. Now in this video lecture, I am going to talk about how does a writer's position as an outsider influence his or her writing. So here is answer. Outsider writers offers a fresh perspective on society and culture. This means writers from outside a culture brings new insights. In this example, Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis portrays alienation in a unique way due to his outsider status as a Jewish writer in Prague. So Kafka's novel explores isolation and Kafka's minority status influence his writing as well. They can critique society from an outside standpoint. This means outsiders offers objective social commentary. Example, Shima Manda, Nagoji, Adichi's Americana critiques race and culture through the eyes of a Nigerian outsider. So, this uh, particular example, uh, Adichi's novel examines cultural differences and um, this thing um, Adichi explores uh, by outsider, by presenting outsider status or by showcasing a uh, outsider status which also talks about that how uh, she tries to critique the society through this outsider point of view. Outsider writers often explore themes of identity. This means writers from outside a culture examine self-discovery. For example, Jhumpa Lehri's interpreter of maladies reflects on cultural identity from the viewpoint of an Indian-American outsider. So, Lahiri's stories explore Indian-American experiences and uh, there is dual cultural background which informs her writing. Uh, cultural clashes and in this particular point we see that these writers, outsider writers delve into conflicts arising from cultural differences. Example, Salman Rushdie's The Satanic Verses tackles cultural clashes through the lens of a British Indian author. So, uh, here we get to see that outsider writers examine cultural tensions and uh, this example, in this example, um, uh, um, where uh, there is portrayal of Rajdi's novel, he explores Islamic and Western cultural conflicts and there is presence of mixed cultural background which try to shape his narrative. Outsiders shed light on injustices in society. Example, Alice Walker's The Color Purple exposes injustices faced by African Americans challenging societal norms. So, Walker's novel highlights racism and oppression and uh, uh, her, her uh, work sparks critical reflection as well. Then, they show empathy towards marginalized groups. Example, Elif Shafak's The Bastard of Istanbul emphasizes with the struggles of women and minorities in Turkey. This means outsider writers understand and relate to struggles. And also we see that this example of Shafak's novel explores women's and minorities' experiences and uh, she tries to or Shafak sheds light on Turkish social issues. Outsider writers challenge stereotypes through their narratives. Example, Ami Tan's The Joy Luck Club challenges stereotypes about Asian American women and families. This means writers from outside a culture break common misconceptions and this Tan's novel humanizes Asian American experiences. In another point we see they explore themes of personal growth and uh, transformation. Sandra Cisneros, The House on Mango 
Mango Street delves into personal growth and cultural identity. So this particular point we see that outsider writers inspire self-discovery as well and Cisnero's novel explore Latino identity and coming of age. Language barriers may influence their writing style. Example, Yoon Lee's The Vagrants explores language barriers and communication struggles in Chinese American communities. This means writers from outside a culture may face language challenges and this is portrayed in Lee's novel which highlights Chinese American language and cultural tensions. So we see that Lee's work explores cultural identity. The quest for belonging is a common theme in outsider writers works. So here we get to see that uh, finding one's place in a new culture is a basic thing which we see uh, in such types of outsider perspectives or outsider influence in a writing and we see that Mohsin's Hamid exit best explore themes of identity and belonging in a global context. Uh, uh, this example showcased that Exist West is such a work which explores themes of identity related issues um, and also belongingness in a global context. Another point we see they foster cross cultural understanding through their writings. Example, Arundhati Roy's The God of Small Things bridges cultural gaps and sheds light on colonial legacies. This means outsider writers promote cultural empathy and uh, this example, Roy's novel connects Indian and Western cultures and explores India's complex past. Outsiders often convey a sense of otherness in their narratives. Shona Singh Baldwin's The Tiger Claw explores themes of displacement and migration, showcasing the sense of otherness. Uh, here we see that these outsider uh, writings, um, writers in their writings, they try to convey a sense of being uprooted in their narratives and uh, the best example which fits with this point is uh, Shona Singh's Balvin's uh, work The Tiger Claw which explores themes of displacement how people displace from one place to another and how they uh, try to migrate which shows that they started feeling of otherness or being uprooted when they shift to some other place. Here is another point. They bring unique historical context to their storytelling. This means outsider writers share distinct cultural histories. And this example, Juno Dies, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Weo, delves into immigration and identity through a Dominican American lens. This means Dye's novel explores Dominican American experiences and she sheds light on Caribbean diaspora. Right, uh, outsider writers craft complex characters which reflect their diverse backgrounds. Example, Toni Morrison's Beloved showcases rich multi-dimensional characters in an African-American context. So, uh, we see that these writers are um, authentic and uh, try to create multi-dimensional characters in Mo uh, Morrison's novel which uh, try to explore African-American trauma. So, such uh, type of works are created when there is presence of outsider writers in a work. They push boundaries with unconventional narrative styles. This means these writers innovate storytelling approaches. An example here is Oran Pamuk's My Name is Red experiments with narrative form. Uh, this means Pamuk's novel blends mystery, history and philosophy and explore themes of art identity in a uh, Turkish setting. So Pamuk's no uh, novel or work examines Ottoman culture and self-discovery. Then with this, this video lecture ends here. Hope this video lecture will help you in your exams. Thank you.